Hey, what's going on? It's Gary. Welcome or welcome back. I'm vlogging every day of the month of November 2023. And on today's video, we are doing something a little bit different. You probably already saw the title, thumbnail, so you already know what's happening here. This is, in this box, the Further Seems Forever How to Start a Fire 20th Anniversary Vinyl Reissue. Fun fact, I have never owned a vinyl before. Like, I'm dead serious. Never had a vinyl before in my life. And I figured if I'm going to have my very first vinyl, it better be one of my favorite albums literally of all time. Why is my phone getting stuck in my pocket? Get out of here. All right, so let's let's check this thing out, shall we? Now, I did also get some other merch with this. There is a album t-shirt, 2X, big guy. We'll set that there. And this is why you clicked the thumbnail right here, buddy. Ooh, look at that. <clears throat> kind of want to lean back maybe for the thumbnail. Let's see. There we go. Maybe that's the thumbnail. I don't know. Maybe I'm like, is that the thumbnail? I don't know if you guys, uh, fellow, if there's any fellow creators out there that are watching that ever do like thumbnails while you're making the video. I know I'm kind of like delaying the point here and the people that aren't creators and the people that don't know what we're doing here just clicked on this and are like, get to the point already. So this is the record. I don't know the entire story behind this, but I remember when I first bought the record, I actually got it on the day that it came out. I got it from a music store at Springfield Mall, Springfield, Virginia. And the artwork was a little bit different. Editor Gary, would you mind putting that on the screen, the artwork that you know and love right, uh, right there? And so this, though, like if you go on like Apple Music or whatever... Um, Spotify, this, this is actually the album art that is used. So I don't know quite the story why it was different. Not really sure. I definitely thought about like keeping this thing sealed because I don't actually have a record player, but no, no, we're going to open it for the video and check it out. So on the front, you have this there, you have the, uh, the name, band name, album name on the front there. That's like a little sleeve. And then on the back, we've got this photo here, which is, uh, I believe, inside the original booklet. So let's continue to open this thing. Now let's see if my wimpy hands can open this thing or if I need to pull out my knife. No, I got it. I got it. There we go. All right, very good. I probably could have opened this more gently. Maybe I can, like, reseal. Ooh, yeah, that's what we'll do. We'll save the plastic. So I'm going to pull this off very gently if possible really making this video longer and probably pissing at least one person off. I'm sure I'll hear from somebody in the comments below. Sorry. Okay. Plastic is aside. We'll figure out how to re-sleeve that off video. So, like I said, this is a sleeve. And, oh. 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 It, it opens up without having to remove it. Very good. Now, on the back, there is a track listing. Well, let me see if I can do this. Let's see. Let's see. Or is this thing stuck on here? Okay. It there. There's a track listing here. There you go. There's a track listing there. All right. Now let's open this thing up. Oh, look at this. All right. So we have... We have a little, a few words here from Alexis Neptune. There you go. Right there. Check that out. I'll leave that up there for you guys for a second to read. Or you know what? Maybe just, maybe just pause it. And then we've got some words from Jason Gleason as well which looks a little bit like this right here. Give that a chance to focus. So you get some words from him 
and there is some stuff on the artwork. Uh, let's see if it says anything in here real quick about this artwork being different. Um, no, so this is just about kind of the, the background of the actual art itself. I didn't see anything just kind of quickly reading about um, when it was different or whatever. So we'll leave that alone for now. And then let's see here. So we've got... Looks like over here, there's nothing in there. This is like the worst unboxing ever. Um, <laughs> like I said, I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, here we go. We've got a lyrics sheet. Can you guys see that? Lyric sheet. We have thank yous from the band there. Let's see if we can zoom in a little bit there. As well as all of the... What is this? All the... Like the producing, the... Um, producer credits and whatnot. I'll set that to the side there. And then let's check out the actual vinyl. This is so cool. Never had one of these before in my life. Oh shit. This is like a different color. Wait, can you actually like, Oh my, Oh, Oh my God, dude. What the fuck? Is, this is so awesome. Wow. Look at that. Is the logo right side up? Wait, the logo's not even right side up. There it is. Side A, or side one. And there's side two, right there. Wow, this record actually looks really, really cool. I'm impressed. Wow. Because I remember the CD at the time. The CD was... Um, I think it was just like clear, or not clear, but it was like, like there was no color on it. I think it was like white text and yeah, it was white text with like, you know, just like clear or not, a CD, like, you know, it was like silver. Like there was no like special color with it. That is so freaking cool. Let's see if I can put all this back the way that I found it. Let's see here. Probably going to end up bending or breaking something. I kind of want to take my time with that. Let me set this down for a second. And uh, basically, I'll just tell you about this record. If you've never heard it, I highly recommend it. Uh, like I said, it's on all the streaming services. And um, this band, I mean, they, they definitely... Uh, mean a lot to me. I, I actually, if you go to my Instagram at Gary Cantrell, I actually have some photos that I got to take of them on their tour, their 20, 20 year anniversary tour for this record back at the end of September. And, uh, also on this channel, we'll link it right there. We have a further seems forever. Maybe I'll just make a playlist and link the playlist. And we've got the further seems forever. I have three songs. I did. I recorded. Um, what was it? The moon is down, on legendary, and the title track for this record, how to start a fire. So those three tracks, I'll put them on a playlist, and it'll be linked up there. So click on that if you want to watch that. For anybody that may be stumbling onto my channel from this video specifically. And uh, I do appreciate you being here. But yeah, love this band. I'd love to hear from you guys down below. Comment below, like, uh, what is your favorite song from this record? What is your favorite further song or record or singer? I know that's a very polarizing topic. I'm Team Jason. I, I have to say it. Like, um, and I actually, I've actually got to meet Jason. He's super cool, super nice. And he was a huge inspiration vocally for me. There was a time, not a lot of people know this, uh, but there was a time where I used to play in bands and there was, I think, two bands that I was actually like the front man for where I just sang and nothing else. And um, I, I could never, never even be remotely in the same conversation as Jason. But what I can say is that on a literal daily basis, I would play this album 
and I would sing it from front to back pretty much every single day, at least once a day. And, um, this, this is my, this is my jam right here, man. Um, it's hard for me to pick a favorite, you know, like bands always make that joke. Like it's like, Oh, these are our children. It's hard to pick a favorite. Uh, I have no dog in the fight. I'm not connected with the band in any way, but I kind of like understand. Like, I feel that way. Like I can't really pick a favorite song. I mean, I guess if you were like, you know, what like really stands out. Like I remember when I used to like practice singing or whatever, um, something like, um, uh, what is that one? Track three. It's, it's on the back. What What is wrong with me? Drawing a blank. Blank page empire. I'm drawing a blank. Blank page empire. There you go. Um, that one, because of his range, you know, and, and kind of the ride that he takes you on as he's like, you know, kind of setting the stage and as the song kind of picks up and he just kind of like really starts to elevate and elevate and elevate. And then when you think he's at like the freaking peak of the mountain, he just freaking just brings it to another level man blank page empire go check out that i mean check out this whole record matter of fact like if you've never heard this band i would encourage you to listen just to the whole thing from front to back but uh look out for track three blank page empire that one yeah that was a fun one um i am that's another one and and some of these i kind of wish i would have recorded um on my camera, but I was taking photos primarily. And that was for most of the set, um, you know, finding spots and songs where I really liked, I would put down the camera to kind of, you know, be involved in the show. But I really like, it was important for me to take photos of this band at some point, because as, as I, you know, take a journey as an aspiring concert photographer, um, you know, you don't, I, I, I would imagine if you ask any photographer ever that shoots concerts, like the chances of shooting one of your favorite bands, um, that's, that's, that could be a challenge. And then also, could you then say like playing your favorite band playing and you're photographing them, but they're playing your favorite album. So this right here. It just, it means the world to me, this album, and uh, it had to be my very first vinyl. What can I say? I don't know how many more vinyls I'll buy in the future, but I knew that I got this one, so we're good to go. And maybe when they come around for uh, How to Start a Fire 30, if, if that's a thing, uh, maybe I'll get them all to sign it. That'd be really cool. So anyway, I don't want to take up any more of y'all's time. Thank you so much for being here. I hope that did it justice. I mean, I guess drop some hate below if, like, you hated it. But, uh, you know, I've never, I've literally never done a review of an album before like that. Or, like, an unboxing of the vinyl. So, cut me, cut me some, cut me some slack here, damn it. Uh, anyway, if you made it this far and you did like the video, hit the like button. It actually really, sincerely does make a difference. There is a reason why literally every YouTuber on the planet asks you to hit the like button. It is the lifeblood of our lives here on YouTube. Um, and so, yeah, so hit that button. And if you made it this far, maybe you happen to like uh, my videos. So hit subscribe so that you can see more. And if you hit the bell and you hit all notifications, it's going to let you know every time I publish a brand new video, which right now in the month of November is every single day. Day. Now, if you're watching this in like, I don't know, freaking July of 2028 or something, I don't know what to tell you. Um, but uh, yeah, comment down below your favorite further song, album, singer, what have you. Go check out the uh, videos that I linked up above that I filmed. And uh, that's going to do it for me. Thanks for being here. See you guys soon.